Hello, I'm Sinead and this is your Week in Tech. Game streaming firm Polystream has raised $1.5 million in seed funding from London venture partners and initial capital. Elevator pitch winners HackerJob, an online recruitment platform, has raised £400,000 in seed funding in a round led by Downing Ventures. The startup uses a unique matching algorithm to match candidates with jobs tailored to their skills and expectations. FeaturesPace, a fraud detection firm based in Cambridge, has raised $9 million in a round led by TTV Capital, a US-based early-stage fintech venture capital firm. Home repair service DAD has raised £2 million in seed funding from HomeServe. Funds will be used to launch its video visiting app, which will provide consumers with expert advice from DIY professionals. Personalised children's storytelling startup Lost My Name has raised an additional €4 million. Euros. The news comes after the London-based company announced a $9 million Series A round led by Google Ventures last year. Thread, the UK personal styling service for men that uses a mixture of algorithms and humans to help solve the online clothes shopping problem, has raised $5.7 million and brings its total funding to around $16 million. The global education technology market will grow 17% per annum to $252 billion by 2020. That's according to a report from EdTechX Global and Ibis Capital. So far, the US has made the biggest waves in the EdTech space. We've already seen the success of Blipper, RefMe and Mendeley in the UK, but it's slow progress for EdTech compared to other sectors. The car hire service Uber has attracted $3.5 billion in investment from Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund. The money will help it to expand in the Middle East. The company says 80% of its users in Saudi Arabia are women, where they're banned from driving themselves. The new funding values the company at $62.5 billion. Our download of the week is Headspace. Modern life is filled with stress and anxiety, and Headspace is here to help. With guided meditation, the app provides a workout for your mind. And finally, if there's one place in the world you don't want to be stuck in traffic, it's China. So much so, they've designed the Transit Elevated Bus. The vehicle glides over traffic lanes while transporting 1,200 passengers in elevated compartments. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.